The dark saber has been destroyed. Now I see a lot of you guys, and especially during the watch party, it was pandemonium, man. It was things were not good. Okay, when this got destroyed, a lot of people were up in arms and they were like, "What? How? It's made a best scar." Now my theory, and this is gonna be probably a quick video. My theory as to how the dark saber got destroyed, which is such an iconic weapon, man, but it could be good in a lot of ways. First and foremost, Moff Gideon is in his new and improved dark trooper suit. Essentially, he is Iron Man, and he's got Beskar gloves, I imagine, or Beskar hands, skeleton underneath those gloves. So he's able to crush Beskar with Beskar. If there's anything that can destroy Beskar, it is Beskar itself. <clears throat> and if you've got that kind of sheer strength and power and torque closing in on the Beskar handle, you're going to be able to crack it. Now, the sparks that we see remind me of episode two with Anakin when he, you know, he got his lightsaber chopped by the machine in the Genosian arena. But the good thing that comes out of this, and a lot of people are like, what, what do you mean? The good thing is that now we need a new Darksaber. Can this be salvaged? Maybe, but what is within it? The crystal. And that's what a lot of us have been wondering for so many years is, how is this thing, the shape it is, the color it is, and why does it make that sound? Why is it so heavy? What's the deal? What is so special about this Darksaber compared to a lightsaber? Right? Han Solo picked up a lightsaber, Luke's lightsaber, and just quickly. Why is this dark saber so different? Why do you have to connect with it in a certain way in order to be able to wield it properly without it being so heavy? Kind of like the one ring in Lord of the Rings. So my question is, will Grogu now be the one entitled to this sword? Because, well, really, he was the one that defeated Moff Gideon, who defeated Bo, making Grogu the rightful owner of the dark saber. So will it be salvaged? Did it get destroyed in the fire, in the blast? Will they have to go and find another crystal? How do they do that? What planet is that on? Is it forged through Beskar? How is the Darksaber working? What, what are the schematics? I think that's something that now we are able to explore because we weren't really doing that before. It was just there and you just knew how it worked if you're a Mandalorian. So, now we get to actually dive into that and whether we'll do that in the Ahsoka show with Bo-Katan if we could see her, which I think, you know, I think now Ahsoka could visit Mandalore and talk to Bo. Maybe Thrawn will show up on Mandalore. Who knows? But I think now the purpose will be to have a Darksaber be created and crafted. And I think that'll be a really special process to see and learn about. Could it be Grogu's? I guess we'll find out. That being said, the Mythosaur still, of course, is much more important to have than the Darksaber, but I believe that Bo-Katan does want the Darksaber again, and she may go and visit Din and give it to Grogu because it is rightfully his. So let me know what you guys think about the Darksaber being destroyed. Does my theory make sense, or what are your theories? Let me know, and I hope we get to see more about the Darksaber and how it's created and crafted in future episodes and seasons. Love you all, have a great day, and may the Force be with you always.